I'm really excited about studying abroad, but I'm concerned about the costs. Are there any ways I can save money? Because I really don't know how to go about it, Shagun. Ah, Sahil, so soon you're going to be an NRI. Well, Sahil, there are several smart strategies you can implement to bring down your expenses while studying abroad. A lot of people think about taking an education loan, withdrawing PF, etc. So let me give you some hacks that can help you and our viewers to make a wise decision. But before that, make sure that you subscribe to the Money Control channel. Firstly, you need to compare and choose the low-cost alternatives. When it comes to foreign education, students often prefer going to countries like the US, UK, Australia. Hence, course fees and other education costs will differ among institutions and countries. And moreover, public universities offer education at a cheaper cost compared to private colleges. So comparing the fee structure, scholarship, options, living cost, etc. in different institutions or universities can help you bring down the cost. However, do make a note that low cost cannot be the only parameter for selecting a particular institution or any university style, right? Yeah. Okay. I think one can focus on getting a scholarship as it can bring down the education cost significantly. So you should check for scholarships. They are one of the best ways to reduce the foreign education costs and you can take the advantage of scholarships available both in India and abroad. For example, the British Council grade scholarships for students in the UK and national overseas scholarships for the students belonging to the minority community to pursue a master's or PhD etc. So you must do a thorough research and find a scholarship that fits in your needs. Yeah, that's true. But you know really what happens like you need to understand the potential hidden cost also. Many times we miss out on checking the hidden cost. Some programs appear to be very cheap at first glance, but they may be, there may be other fees which must be paid upon arrival. So make sure while applying, you make a thorough calculation of all the costs such as tuition fees, accommodation, visa processing and so on. And lastly, make sure that the cost you think you have covered is truly covered. You can also consider asking the university or your counsellor through which you are applying, right? Yeah, I mean one should also utilise interest subsidies. There are various subsidies on interest on education loans that help students save their educational costs. For example, the Central Government Interest Subsidy Scheme launched by the Ministry of Human Resource Development provides subsidies on education loan for inland studies or the Padho Pardesh Scheme to help students of the minority community to study abroad. By taking the benefit of these subsidies, you can reduce your overall cost of education. Moreover, you can also take advantage of the deduction for interest paid on education loan under Section 80E of Income Tax Act of 1961. We hope that you have gained a valuable insights now, right? And our viewers also, we hope that you are going to take a wise decision and a very informed decision about your expenses and consider alternative ways to cut costs without compromising on the quality of your education. Share this video with all your friends and family and subscribe to the Money Control channel for more.